We're going to find the 28th term of an arithmetic sequence that has a third term of 20.5 and an eighth term of 13. This is going to take a few steps. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out our common difference. The third term and the eighth term are not right next to each other. If you add the common difference once to the third term, we would be at the fourth term. If you add it again, you're at the fifth term, sixth, seventh, eighth. So if you were to add the common difference five times, you would get from the third term to the eighth term. These are five apart from each other. So we're going to start by adding the common difference five times in order to get from 20.5 to 13. Well, I know the third and the eighth term, so I can replace those. And now all I have left to do is solve for D. If you subtract 20.5, you get negative 7.5, and then I will divide by 5. So the first thing we found is that our common difference is negative 1.5. Now we're looking for the 28th term here. You can find any term you want with the explicit formula in front of you. You just plug in the term number for n and go from there. The problem is for the explicit formula, we need our first term. And unfortunately, we were not given the first term here. So what we're going to do is find the first term of the sequence so that we have an explicit formula that we can work with. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to use either the third term or the eighth term. It doesn't matter which one you use. I like whole numbers better, so I'm going to use the eighth term. That means n is 8. We don't know the first term. And we know our common difference. We just found it. So now we're going to go ahead and simplify. The eighth term is 13. Multiply 7 times negative 1.5. And then the last step will be to add the first, or um, add 10.5. So now we have our first term and our common difference, which means we can write our explicit formula. The first term is 23.5. Common difference is negative 1.5, so this is our explicit formula. You can simplify it if you want, but I'm going to leave it like this. Doesn't really matter. Remember, we're trying to find the 28th term. So the last thing we need to do is actually find our 28th term. That means n is 28. Sorry, not equals, plus. So 
So I would pause the video so you can do this on your own and then see if you get the right answer. So first I do 28 minus one, and then I will multiply that by the negative 1.5. And we get that our 28th term is negative 17. So the reason you want to find your explicit formula is because you can find whatever term it's asking for in the problem by just replacing n. But in order to write your explicit formula, remember you need to find the first term and the common difference, which is what we started with. Once you have that information, you can find any term in the sequence.